What's up, my brothers from another mother? Listen, one of the more popular videos on my channel was one I did a number of years ago on the three types of women to avoid dating. And since I've put that out in the comments routinely, regularly, there's always somebody that says, hey, can you do one on things to look out for, like positive traits? So in this video, I'm gonna break down three tips for you guys that you wanna make sure are in place if you're gonna engage into a long-term relationship with any woman on any basis. All right, and tip number one is she needs to know before you get into an LTR marriage or anything like that, that she's replaceable. If she feels for any reason like she is your only or can only ever be your only source of intimacy, like she is some kind of a unicorn or the one for you, you know, a lot of guys like to use these lyrics like, oh, you're the one, you're the one perfect woman for me. There can't ever be anyone else. Well, that's a flawed thinking or that's a flawed belief system actually is the way I should put it. But um, it is a very, very bad position to start from if you enter into an LTR or a marriage with a woman and she believes that she can only ever be the only source of intimacy. She has to know that she is replaceable. You don't overtly state, look woman, you're replaceable, but she has to know by your actions and by engagements that she cannot only ever be the only source and that she can be replaced. All right, tip number two, this is gonna be a bizarre one for some people who've never heard this before, but bear with me. Uh, we know that women are hypergamous and for a long-term relationship to work out on a, a positive basis for both people, you as the guy needs to be at least one to two points higher than her on the sexual market value scale. So what is hypergamy? Let's just cover that very quickly. Women only date and marry up. On the socioeconomic scale, they don't date and marry down. It's very rare that they do. I know there's always that one woman that's like, oh, you know, I married down and my husband's been a stay-at-home dad and I've been, you know, the CEO of this company for so many years, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but they're not having sex. And if they do, it's starfish every, you know, six months if he's lucky. Um, you need to make sure, guys, that her hypergamy is satisfied, okay? Uh, she needs to know that you are the best that she can do. And for that to be realized, you realistically need to be uh, more valuable than her on an SMV scale basis. And of course, that has to be perceived too. So your, your perception of your value might be a nine, but she might perceive her value as a nine, but realistically, she's only a six. And women can have an overinflated sense of self-worth and value, uh, especially you know nowadays with social media, all you have to do is have an Instagram account with a few thousand followers. Many of them are, are thirsty betas orbiting around. And if she's posting pictures on a regular basis, provocative pictures, you know, like attractive pictures of herself, uh, she's going to garner a lot of attention. So her perceived value in her head can go up. So this is something that's important to consider. You want to make sure if you get into an LTR, if you're going to you know walk into the slot house that is marriage nowadays, which I'm vehemently opposed to, I've talked about that many times, you need to make sure that your sexual marketplace value is greater than hers if you want to have a kick at the can at this one. All right, let's sit on number three before we wrap up real quick. Uh, number three is pretty straightforward. She needs to be a complement to your life, not the focus. Most guys get this wrong. They will make a woman the focus of their life with immediacy like you've never seen in any other area in their life. They'll put more emphasis on placating to her whims, desires, her demands and everything just to just to keep the whole happy wife, ha happy uh, life narrative going on. There's nothing that rhymes with happy husband, by the way. There's no happy husband, happy whatever. There's nothing that rhymes because nobody cares. So you have to understand, you know, the societal norms that you're operating within. Uh, it's incredibly important when you engage in a long-term basis with a woman that she complements your life. She has not the focus of it. I'm going to say that again. She must be a complement to your life, not the focus of it. So those are my three tips. There's a lot more. I've got a book coming out uh, very, very soon. So what I'd like you to do is if you're not on my email list, card up on the top right in the screen, or it's also pinned in the uh, top comment. Uh, it's entrepreneursandcars.com forward slash red dash flags is the URL, but just click that pop out banner and opt into my list. You'll get the free chapter on the red flags. Uh, there's also lots of great stuff in the book beyond what I've just mentioned over here that'll take it into the stratosphere. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you got any tips beyond what I've made, leave a comment below smash the like button I know a lot of you guys watch these videos unsubscribe helps me out a ton with the algorithms when you do subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video peace